My wife and I used to live in London, where I worked for a publishing house. When we met socially with friends and colleagues, their children would tell me about the tooth fairies, who come at night to collect their baby teeth when they fall out, and leave a present by the pillow as a thank you. From the moment I heard it, I found this story fascinating. Every child knew about the tooth fairies, and so did their parents. So I wrote some stories about the tooth fairies and read them to my friends and their children, and to my wife. They were popular, and the kids wanted to hear more. They especially wanted to know what my tooth fairies looked like. Were they little creatures like elves, with wings and a magic wand? Or did they look totally different? My wife and I now got seriously to work on the subject. The first task was to give our tooth fairies faces. We would need an illustrator, so we organized the competition through a magazine. We wanted to create seven characters, five good fairies and two bad ones. We received a lot of entries from various illustrators, but nothing came up to our expectations. Until, finally, a package arrived with designs by Svetlana Lutzer. We opened it and there were our tooth fairies. Her drawings were very delicate and elaborate, so my wife and I spent hours with Svetlana working towards the final design. We decided our tooth fairies wouldn't flutter around with wings on their back. They didn't seem up to date. We wanted to create characters with interesting look and individual features that made them easy to recognize. Next week I will tell you how we come up with the idea to develop stories into a TV series. Until next time.